YouTubers, and welcome to the 2015 rendition of the Foul Beer Tasting Extravaganza! Woo! <laughs> Today it's also New Year's Eve! Woo! Oh, happy New Year! Yeah. Or, yeah, we're totally shooting this on New Year's yeah, Eve. Yeah, we are. We are. And this can't is our... Can't be at a party! Yeah, can you hear the party? And we're wearing <laughs> awesome New Year's hats. Just look at my hat, it's really awesome. It's totally not a mask. <laughs> that keeps falling down. But today, Peter the Master of Puppets is joined by the Hitler. The Hitler. The Hitler. The Hitler. Yeah. 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 Um, the, the, I don't remember. The General Goose. The General Goose. And, and Johnny. Yeah, and Johnny. Dang, so, hey, let's start this thing off, to, off, off to a with one. a. Okay. Woo! That looks better. Yeah. If, yeah. It, if it wants to start. That was Whoa! Very end. Everyone who watches the Master of Puppets Beer Review looks forward to. Well, this is so party. This is so yeah. New Year. Look at all the decorations. Yeah, no, it's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. So, this year we have a little less <laughs> uh, beers than usual because we're only three people. But, uh, oh, I actually just burned my table. That was nice. So, yeah. we have 11 beers this time around. And uh, we're going to start, as usual, with the lowest ABV one and then move our way up to the highest ABV one, which is always good fun. So uh, that's how we're going to do it this year. I'm not going to do a top 10 worst beers because this is probably just going to be the top 10 or top 11 because I haven't really drunk any or reviewed any really shitty beers this year that I actually remembered. And I don't think I have. So this year I'm probably just going to do a top 10 best beers and maybe also like top brewery, top is new brewery, some, something like that. If you guys have any ideas and anything you want to see, let us know. So, we're going to start out with the first one that I uh, picked up, thinking it was should be interesting uh, and foul because it looked, well, it doesn't look super nice, does it? It just looks like a random German beer. But this is Klauster Classic. And then it says, Premium Alcohol-Free Beer. <laughs> so, I actually was stupid enough to buy a, a, a beer with only zero point. This is 46% alcohol. 49. That, that so. might actually be your first actual review of the. A beer without alcohol, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Alcohol yeah. beer. So it's brewed with water, barley malt, hops extract, hop extract. So it doesn't even have hops. So we're ready with the alcohol free beer, the Klaus Thaler, or that has like 0.5% alcohol. Mm. Huge head. <laughs> it looks like a whole <laughs> Yeah, the head is actually pretty huge. Oh. Let's check out the aroma. It smells just like super grainy and sweet. <laughs> yeah. There's actually not much aroma to it. It just smells like generic watery beer. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly yeah. like that. Like you just pour water in a pilsner. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Yeah. First beer of the Fall Beer Tasting Extravaganza. Old too. Yeah. <laughs> you can really taste that tea leafy old pop. And it, it has a sweetness. Yeah. Almost like unfermented grain. Yeah. But it's not good. No. <laughs> it's not I think, I think it, it, it's even kind of metallic. Like. Yeah, a little bit. But hey, on the bright side, it only has 26 calories per 100 milliliters. Yeah, wow. So, whoa, if you like the taste of shitty beer, you want to lose weight. Then you then you health shake. Yeah. Alcohol for beer, as we always do with the, the foul beer tasting, is thumbs. I'm not all the way down actually. I'm, I'm like to the side, maybe slightly down. Yes, yeah, slightly, yeah, slightly down. down. Yeah. You're all the way down? Uh, it tastes like pee. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so up next, guys, is a new beer and a new trend in, in Denmark, I guess, on the beer industry. Uh, making, trying to make craft beers, at least the big breweries, they're trying to make crafty beers. Uh, more accessible, making you remember the uh, Tuborg Brewmaster series yeah, and, the yeah, yeah. and that was the Lottrup and those beers that Royal did. But that, now another big thing is organic shit. So uh, Tuborg made this, oh, which means raw, an unfiltered organic pilsner on 4.5% alcohol and it says unfiltered. I don't think it's actually, well, it's probably unfiltered, but the only thing giving this slight amount of haze is wheat malt extract. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoa. Uh, but it's made with uh, watery organic barley malt, 
wheat malt extract, extract hops and yeast. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Yeah, it might be a decent pilsner, who knows? Well, it's actually got a little bit of a hop bite to it. Yeah. Definitely. Like a little bit of a lemon. It smells much better than like the... Yeah. the oh, it's actually like the yeah, it smells like beer. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, it's a very mild aroma as well. Yeah. But again, it's a pilsner. We only have a couple here that are ales. Actually, we should have gotten a bottle of that one and just yeah. gotten bottles instead of cans so we could get all the nice truck ones. Yeah, yeah. That's a fairly decent pilsner. Yeah. It's actually not bad. No. That's actually a thumbs up for me. I don't think it's bad. It's got a light grassiness. Light sweet malt, mm. but it's not like putrid. It's a little bit too sweet, maybe, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's okay, it's okay, especially compared to what we just had. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a decent piece of pills, man. It, it's uh, it's better than our original, yeah, yeah, I like it, yeah, yeah. More than maybe, right. and look, I guess the wheat kind of gives it that little more mouthfeel, the wheat malt mm. extract, because it has a little bit of a chewiness to it, just a little. Mm. Okay, so the next beer, guys, I, I'm not sure if I've used it. Again, I've made foul beer tastings, what, five yes. times now, five, five years, years in a row. Yeah. It's hard to keep track of what beers you used. So, if I reuse any of these, or <laughs> this is a reuse, let's call it a 2015 vintage. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, guys, is probably the worst beer ever made here in Denmark. This is Danish Pilsner. <laughs> Danish Pilsner, yes. And it's made by the guys called Habu, mm. who make, well, pretty slight beer. It's, it actually, I think it's, no, it's not Habu anymore. It's Westfuden now. Yeah. Okay, I think Habu once made it. Carlsberg I mean, also once made this. I mean, yeah. this, this, this is actually cheaper than buying water. Yeah, in yeah. The yeah. It's two kroners, and that's like 50 cents. Something like that at all, and it's, it's really shitty. But it's okay, so it's made by Mystery, but it's brewed, it's 4.6% Pilsner, brewed with barley malt, corn, hops, uh, uh, carbon, it's just Kuljusen, so this, it's got carbonation E number 290, coloring E150, and antioxidant E300. <laughs> and this beer is one of those beers that tastes different from every single bottle and people suspect it just be, you know, drain pours of whatever beers they have left and then they yeah. color it so it looks like sewage water or something like that. <laughs> I mean, it is a thin, yeah. Yeah. piss kind of <laughs> color right there. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't smell like much now, but it's got an almost Metallic, it almost, it, it sounds weird saying it, but you know when you get the gag reflex? Yeah. And mm. if you smell like someone puked on your toilet after a party, mm. it almost has an, an aroma that reminds me of that. Do, do, do <laughs> Probably know. because they drank too much of yeah. the beer. Do you yeah. know what it reminds me of? Just the aroma? Oh, it's it, really skunky it, too. It reminds me of how the inside of a balloon. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I I can see that. Plastic. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Yeah. It smells like pure, right. pure plastic, skunk, and, and kind of cardboard. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Classic danger. Classic. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I know this is so bad. Yeah, yeah that's it. I, 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 I don't think that's, that's even bad, worse than the, <laughs> the alcohol free one. one. <laughs> yeah. The alcohol free one actually had some sort of hot flavor. It was just old. Mm. This is just skunky. Cardboardy, grainy, <laughs> grainy mess, and then and the aftertaste is like puke. You, you, you yeah, puke. yeah, yeah. It kind of tastes like when you gag, right? and a little bit comes up, and then it actually also kind of tastes like corn. But you, do you know what? I actually, I still get happy when I drink it because it, it reminds me of many happy times I've had when I was so poor and uh, it was the only thing <laughs> I, I, I had. <laughs> to, to actually and buy. We went to Tito's place in the summer and, and partied on his farm, his yeah. dad, parents' farm, yeah. and got cases of this. Yeah. Uh, this is really <laughs> shitty <beer. laughs> If you're ever in Denmark, you should try and buy a bottle of this, just, you know, to have. have this is, I guess this is like the Danish equivalent of like the Beer 30 in the US, which is apparently also really bad, but it's an easy thumbs down for me at least. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I mean, and again, yeah. cool, we have to drink. The glasses were given. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. The next video, guys, is by Gregor Lee, the Skolist. Uh, and I actually think all of the beers that are bottled now for uh, supermarkets are not actually made uh, in Denmark anymore. Like the only Skolders beer that is made in Denmark is the stuff you get at their kind of restaurant in wherever in Dolby, I can't remember where it is at. But I think it's brewed in like the Balkan region now. It's just contract brewed there. So it's just in, in actually imported. It's, it's, it's contract brewed. So kind of like what the count does, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of Skolders. I have very negative opinions about most of their beers. Uh, but this one is a new beer they recently released, I think. I haven't seen it around before, but this is the Chestnut Brew, or Kastanienbrook in Danish, a gluten-free amber ale. Interesting. 4.7% brewed with water, barley malt, uh, chestnut flour, and hops. And it actually also says here that it's brewed, uh, uh, it, like, it, said, it says it's brewed by uh, some of the greatest uh, specialty beer makers in Europe. I highly doubt that, <laughs> especially when they're only sold in supermarkets. But uh, yeah, it's this it's a gluten-free amber ale, and apparently it ha well, it doesn't say say American hops. It just says hops from overseas, so it might just be British hops. But mm -hmm. who knows? Yeah, it's the first ale of the bunch, though. So. And it's gluten-free, which is a big trend in you know getting fit and eating right and whatever, which makes no sense. The only reason why you should be gluten-free is, is if you have an intolerance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've, never, I've never tasted a gluten-free product that I, that I like, I like yeah, same very much. Yeah. Same with vegan, vegan yeah. products, but hey, yeah. more probably than everything yeah. anyway. No. Uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of amber in color. Yeah. White hat, that's really wrong, though. Yeah. It's very it's, it's actually okay, it's, it's, but it's a lot of these beers, I think, it's kind of the was soapy. Yeah. Mm. Like the hot quality is soapy, yes. and I'm not smelling chestnuts whatsoever. No. And again, it, it got that kind of weird sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah right. Just like a sugary sweetness. It does have diacetyl too, too. Buttery mm, kind of components. Buttery uh, butter popcorn or lebalawa, the Danish candy. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, cheers. Can you hear the fireworks? It's New Year's. Yeah, that's. Oh, that is very soapy yeah. and buttery. It kind of tastes like a, a, a tradition. I don't know. If it's, it just tastes like an English bitter. Mm. Mm. Yeah. An English traditional English bitter, but just not very well done with uh, okay. soapy I'm, notes. I'm really not a fan of that. I guess the chestnuts is a way to get starches yeah. without using uh, too much water malt to make yeah. it gluten free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a little bit of a hot bite, generic soapy floral. And then definitely diacetyl, mm. and that kind of you know buttery, buttery yeah. popcorn flavor, yeah. Yeah. sweet malt. It is a bit chewy, yeah. but it's not all the way down. It's um, it's like this. I mean, it's not as bad as the alcohol free one, I think. No. For me, at least, and the the dense So I'm gonna go all the way, almost all the way, thumbs down. I actually think I like this more than some of their non gluten free products. <laughs> <laughs> So we're carrying on with another trend in these series of beers, and this is organic shizzle. So <laughs> this is uh, Royal Unibrew, another big giant here in Denmark, uh, uh, a big beer giant's attempt at making a organic beer. And this is the Royal Organic Pilsner. So it's an organic Pilsner made with organic barley malt. <laughs> what? Lactic acid? <laughs> What? And organic hops. How, why the hell have they used lactic acid in it? It must be a small amount. That is so <laughs> useful. If you use, it says minkasur. Mm. What? That's not like what you'd use to make sour ales. That is weird. I haven't had this one. 4.8% pilsner. Okay, interesting. This is not unfiltered. Nope. <laughs> this is definitely filtered. Yeah. Same color as the others. Yes. Okay. That's skunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell oh, immediately oh, oh, oh. that it's in the green bottle. Yeah. That, nope. Yeah. It smells exactly like Corona. It, it's, it, yeah. It kind of smells like Corona. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. It's just so skunky. That kind of pee, yeah. uh, skunk, Multi -pee. disgusting beer that's been out in the sun around. Yeah. 
I don't understand why they use these ultra green bottles. I think the rest should be good though. Yeah. Nope. Uh, yeah. Gonna keep <laughs> trying, yeah. 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 That is very skunky and greeny. I, I don't know what the lactic acid has done for the beer. It's not sour or anything. This is good. That's weird. Okay, if we're talking the big breweries, I definitely say two bars one with or two bars slash Carlsberg one with air again. Yeah. Beer that is much better than this. This is horrible. <laughs> this is <laughs> so skunky. This is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as bad as Danish Pilsner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is. And that's made by a big company that should be knowing what they're doing. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, next beer guys, this is, I don't think I've ever tried this, this is uh, from Vietnam, I think my first ever Vietnamese beer, what do you mm, guys? Wow. And this is the Saigon Export, a lager, I guess, pale lager on 4.9% brewed with barley malt, rice, water and hops. And apparently not yeast because it doesn't say. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course right. yeah. all the yeah, lagers from uh, Asia are usually made with rice as an adjunct. But so so what what rice water? No, it, well they use rice like th this one uses corn so okay. just to you know get starches out of that instead okay. of malt because it's cheaper than malt. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. But we've got it poured. It looks like a pale lager. Yeah, that's really aroma. It smells like nothing in cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was na nail. <laughs> you hit a <laughs> smell like cardboard. <laughs> Nothing in cardboard. Uh, oh, it's sweet. That is sweet, Very sweet and ricey, and like no hops. It's like sweet and rice, and then that cardboard flavor and dry. It's almost yeah, like they're sugar. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's like dry, but that's hot dog from the hops. Yeah, but. Oh yeah. I mean, the only situation I see myself really enjoying this if is if 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 if, if, if I'm, I'm starting to get tipsy. Yeah. If, if <laughs> the only time I think I would enjoy this if was if I was in Vietnam <laughs> in the super blazing hot sun sun yeah. and this was ice cold. Yeah. yeah. Then I think I'd enjoy it. Yeah. Almost thumb down for me, but not really. Yeah. Yeah. Same. No, no. Nothing special. No. So we're back with the next beer, guys. And I actually thought I'd used this one before in a foul beer tasting. The fuck's mouth is in the way. Um, the Daura Dam here, but I think it's a Stella Dam, or they. I don't actually know the name of the brewery. We were examining the bottle; it was hard to find. Uh, I maybe the the brewery is called Estella or maybe it's called Daura, something like that. But it's a premium lager that is. 100% gluten free. That's a bit suspect. Whoa. Made with rice, <laughs> barley malt, 100% natural ingredients. <laughs> it's from Spain. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 That's skunky and it's in a proud <laughs> lager. Come on. That's incredible. I actually have some proper Spanish craft beer from the Catlin region oh. in my fridge. Mm. I, man, and no Spain can do proper beer. What? Well, how do you get beer skunky in a brown? It's almost like they they were in glass containers. It's like skunky and then sweet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And cardboard. Yeah. Definitely cardboard. That's like one of the main flavors you get in these shitty beers. Is like cardboard. Yeah. Yes. It's really yes. nice. It's sweet. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not smelling very nice. Let's give it a taste. Ah, yeah. uh, oh, sweet. Wow. 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 That's bad. <laughs> that is like, like really yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah it is. That's like almost on par with Danish Pilsner. Yeah. Danish Pilsner. Hmm. I just think this is worse to be honest. Yeah. It's, it's, this it's, is, it's, it, 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 I mean, it's got that, as I, as I said, uh, I suspect the, the organs but will have like that, like pukey, mm. gall, you know, sweet. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it tastes like a, a warm beer. It's cold, but it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to taste. Yeah, and, and you can actually taste the cardboard as well. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's like okay. carbon. Maybe not. I'm not really tasting diacetyl, but I think the cardboard and skunk hides that. Oh, I can't get my good. New Year's hat on. <laughs> Come on, Fox. Get it back <laughs> on my head. 
Okay, then I have to wear the right way then. But no, it's it's not very good. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. I got it. Looks better than it looks like a fox pelt on my head instead of a random mask. <laughs> it probably just looks like I'm wearing a fox better, cap now. <laughs> face on your face. Yeah. 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 But no, this yeah. is not very good. No, this is not. No, yeah, this is. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Thumbs down. Two thumbs down for me, man. This is the same. I think it's the same. It must be this dude making this. No, this one is made by Habu. What? What the hell is two different companies making a beer with the same brand? <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? This is Best Food and this is Habu. Okay. <laughs> this is a collab. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious with that effort. I mean, some, uh, back in the day, I think Carlsberg made it. Like when I was in high school, and people were saying that it was just runs of like old Carlsberg beers yeah. like, like the, left, the leftover yeast yeah just, and, not, just, and, not, just and leftovers and just leftovers sweaters. in the tanks that they made mm -hmm. it out of yeah. and then colored it and I don't know if that's the case now maybe it's just a mix of Vestfood and Harbo beer and then just this was filled with uh, Vestfood and this is ha Harbo but this follows the Danish tradition of making a higher ABV lager for Christmas this is 5.7% and then they just color it with a, a glucose syrup. It's brewed with water, 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 barley malt, glucose syrup, forced carbonated, and it has hops, sugar, and ascorbine acid. That's, yeah. uh, that's an antioxidant. So, basically, what what every other it's, it's, Danish brewery that's yeah. big does to make a Christmas beer, yeah. which is just a lager with sugar and, it's and made, syrup. It's made so it can last a few years in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. It says it's brewed to the best of abilities. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You abilities are shit. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little doctor. Yeah. It's like the doctor. Uh, Carol colored. I'm getting a little tipsy. Let's go your own. Oh, it's it's it smells syrup. I mean, you smell like a sugary aroma yeah. too. It's almost like cake. Like, like cake? Like, well, I don't know what <laughs> like cake is. Like, uh, I think you eat some very bad cake in it. <laughs> no, Mr. like, uh, like uh, you know, um, the, the, the cake we have for when we have birthday. Or, or, Birth uh, birthday or, cake? In Denmark, birthday cake is called Bonsvia. Yeah. Bonsvia. Yeah. I think they have in Germany as well. So but know, it's, but yeah, Bonsvia yeah, is but, a cake but, yeah. that is of only, like, yeah. really made in Dem Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. So people yeah. don't but know. But it's, it's, it's okay. like, but it, it tastes yeah. like... The brown sugar has been like, you know. It smells like that. I'm just laughing because I can't. It's like get old brown sugar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a sugar that dominates yeah. the aroma. So. Yeah, it is. And metallic notes that try it too. It, and it's so sweet. It's very sweet. Yeah. It's just like sugar, sugar water. But it tastes better than the regular Danish culture. Yeah, yeah. So Habu's yeah. got the A game compared to this food. When it comes to <laughs> making so, shit beer. It's all beer. <laughs> But it's cheap. I mean, I understand why you always see the alcoholics and the old bums buying tons of this during Christmas time because it's like uh, five kroners for a half a liter can. And since Christmas is over, I even got it cheaper because it was marked down. But it's really bad. To be honest, it doesn't have like that that off flavors. I would say it does have a little bit of diacetyl, I think, and it does have uh, well, maybe some of that cardboard. But it's not so too bad. Yeah. yeah, the aftertaste isn't bad. No, it's not as bad as the yeah. others. Uh, actually, the only main detractor for me for this is it's just, it's very sweet. Mm. Yeah. It's like sugary, yeah. but it's light and lagery as well. And I don't think sugar and lager mixes very well. But no. I don't know. I mean, yeah. This for me is one like almost thumbs down, but not completely down. Not completely it's, it's, it's actually very much on par with the Christmas beers that. Uh, the big companies do mm -hmm. like in the two boy Uber boy and the Royal Lakes. Was yeah, it's actually not that much worse than those. No, no. but those are not greedy. <laughs> no. You want a good Christmas beer? Go to the microbreweries instead. Uh, guys, so we're up with the next one. Our New Year champagne from Elbic. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Happy New Year! We wish. Oh, no, that's not. Right. Oh shit! No. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a Christmas. Set. New Year is Christmas beer. No, this is from Elbic. I'm actually not sure if this is going to be bad at all, but Johnny brought it because he's like, I have an extra beer that might be bad. We don't know. We haven't had it. <laughs> but this is Albrecht and out now. <laughs> the, uh, well, Albrecht Bourguerie and Newport Castle here in Denmark. It's a collaboration between the two. And this is their Newport Judeburg from 
something something king something. Six percent traditional style ale because it's made according to traditional recipes from the Castle Brewery. Yeah, something yeah, again. Something. And uh, it's made with barley malt, hops, yeast, brown sugar, dates, fennel, cloves, and water. So it actually sounds like a, an authentic Christmas. Beer. So we've got the Newbar Castle and Urbic Juleborg uh, ready. God damn it! You guys show the color and talk about it <laughs> while I try to get my new yeah, So there. it's, it's kind of murky, red, kind of reddish, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Got, oh, got a good nice I smell it all the way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. That smells good. Nice. Yeah. That it does not deserve Christmas. to be here. <laughs> that smells like Christmas in a glass. That yeah. smells like boom can. Yeah. 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 That's exactly right. I am very sorry to have been that. <laughs> that is actually quite nice. <laughs> that is like really yeah, nice. That, 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 Especially on top of all that. Yeah, that but we're going to make the ultimate blend though. All beer are just going to taste like that. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't belong here. No, I actually want to try this yeah. after all this shit. Let's, Let's give it a taste. Yeah, this doesn't deserve to be on there. No. That no. is nice. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. In the sense of a foul beer tasting, this is a two thumb of all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're getting the, the clove, a little bit of the fennel. I mean, if you hate spicy beer, okay, you might not like it, but yeah, this this is not a foul beer whatsoever. No, this is no. a nice beer. This, I, think, I mean, for a supermarket beer, that's probably on sale everywhere right now. I'd actually, you know, get some of this. Because yeah. it's actually fairly decently tasted. It's got a little bit of an orangey flavor too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of caramel toffee. It's actually com got some complexity compared to all the other <laughs> shit. Yeah. I mean, all the other beers so far has been shit. So, uh, no, yeah, I enjoy this. <laughs> so, we're back guys with, uh, we actually had a small break. Just talking about life and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of maybe making th made this beer better because we had some rum. <laughs> <laughs> some rum. <laughs> I remember I got a rum for Christmas, so we needed. To try. Now we're looking at the Defenko, uh, which means the five farms, Dilrek, and Dilrek is a Danish name, an old Danish name, right? Old Danish name. Mm -hmm. So they call this a Danish luxury brew. So you know it's going to be good. It's also made by the Hobo, so you know it's going to be extra good. So this is an Imperial Pilsner on 7.5%. So so it, it's a, it's Dave's Pilsner with a, uh, with a beautiful label. Probably. 7.5% Imperial Pilsner. <laughs> uh, as I said, it's Hobo who makes this. I think we had one of their Christmas beers in this line of the five farms on. You found beer tasting a few years back. But the fun thing about this, there's no info on the beer. It's got, it says it's, it's, it's filling, it's got a rich flavor and a golden color, and then it's a luxury brew, uh, carefully malted <laughs> with malt from our own fields, or, uh, and yeah, it it's also says that it has an addition of hops. Oh, it's going to say, what? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the fun thing on the back, there's nothing for like style or anything, you have to look it up online. It's, it's just, it's got some story about a castle, a second ball. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Amber. I was about to say camper. Camper. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. That okay. tastes like Polish oil. That smells bad. It smells, it kind of smells like stale coca. Yeah. Common Polish oil. Yeah. 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 And, and tons of diacetyl and cardboard. And like that, like really, it smells really grainy. Yeah. Like really grainy. I'm not smelling hops, it's just like really grainy. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's bad. <laughs> wow. You know what? That is really bad. That reminds me of the beer I reviewed back in the day with Jakob where I had my beer dyed red. Okay. The 18 something Habu stopped making. Thank God for that. That's just a sweet diastal malty mess. You actually taste alcohol too. You know, it's, it's super malty, it's super sweet. Uh, Diacetyl, yeah. but it's not. Uh, it's not got uh, skunk. It's not skunky. No. But I think that's because you don't taste any hops. Nah, it's a thumbs up. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. You can make better hop. You made something that was actually okay, and that was then I actually like this more <laughs> than, than I like their craft beer. Craft beer. Craft beer. But yeah, you work. Yeah. Luxury. 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 <laughs> So we're back guys with probably the worst beer of the, the bunch and the one that is also warmest. So <laughs> we'll see what we have for last. So 
the, the, the king of the tasting so far, the brewery has, that's had most representatives, has been Harbo, and this is also from Harbo. And kind of like every other year, we switch between Harbo and Carlsberg. This wolf, or wolf, wolf fox, is very drunk because it's home with the balls down from my head. <laughs> and it can't be anymore. No. <laughs> but uh, usually we have the Carlsberg. God damn. Usually we have the Carlsberg <laughs> Vintage Beer or Organg Spork and once in a while we can't find it so we get the Habu instead uh, but they're both really shitty beers. They're uh, Imperial Strong Lagers, Imperial Pilsner. Uh, this one is on 10% and uh, they get some kind of artist to do a different label every year. The glucose syrup is probably not for color here, it's probably for alcohol. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, yeah. It smells like booze. <laughs> It smells like alcohol instantly. It smells like alcohol and cardboard and that kind of puke aroma you've got from the Danish pilsner. Yeah, 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 definitely. This is right. Cheers. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yeah, oh, man. Okay. That is just like so disgusting. <laughs> I mean, oh every God. year we have to do this, and every year that's the, that's the beer I fear the most. It's because we get the different vintages. We have to do that every year. Yeah. Either the Havo or the Kong. Yeah, I know, but... It's just... It's... Just, it's, it's how, just, how, how come that they make... They, they can't... I mean, don't, don't they taste what they brew? No, I actually think they make it because there's a market for it. Because we it's have sure, alcoholics here who would yeah. like to buy that. Yeah, I know, but that's just... Freaking... I don't know. It's so sweet and alcoholic. Yeah. It's like one. I, I mean, this tastes more like booze than Black Tuesday. And Black Tuesday is on nineteen percent. <laughs> this is on ten. Yeah. But okay, it's also high, uh, hard to hide ten percent in a lager, I guess. But yeah, uh, this yeah. is. I've had two beers so far that were two thumbs down. Uh, I think the uh, it was this one, but this is a two thumbs down as well. Yeah, this is bad. This is really. This bad. Is Really and this bad. is one of those beers that's gonna taste like right. shine through in the blend. Mm -hmm. So, guys, we're gonna be back with the ultimate blend and uh, our, you know, top <laughs> list of the you know best to worst. So, see you guys in the day. Yeah. So this is a blend of all these bad boys, and they're lined up now from best to worst. The best one, which we all said in the room doesn't deserve to be on the Fall Beer Tasting, is this one, the Juleboik from uh, Erbeck and Nuborg Slot. That was actually pretty decent. This should be like, this should be. Like, yeah, it should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually pretty fair. So, but the, if we don't count that one, the least worst of the best was the Raw Tubor. Tubor. Raw. Raw. Uh, raw. Uh, and then we had the, impressively enough, Danish Christmas brew, Dance Gude Boy. Then we have the gluten free Kestenje uh, Boy from Skolus, or uh, Chestnut Beer or Chestnut Brew. And then after that, we have the uh, Saigon Export, which is the fourth best. Uh, worst, yeah. In this pile of shit. Of the worst, best. Yeah, yeah, in the, the pile of shit. It was actually okay compared to the mm. others. Then we, now we're getting to the really bad ones, and then they, they, or these started to get hard to choose, but we went with Dilek now, uh, the Imperial Pilsner, and then the alcohol free beer, and then the gluten free beer from Spain, the Estela, no, the Daura, Daura Dam. Eh. The super skunk train of the organic wild beer, and then the shit beer that is Danish Pilsner. That seriously, guys, this beer tastes different from bottle to bottle, mm. which is mm. fucking weird. Yeah. That's not supposed to be like that. So we might have gotten one of the good bottles. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is the second, it's the second one. one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, then the. Oh yeah, it would be <laughs> but the worst, the uh, organic oh, surprise, 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 the. Uh, Vintage Lager <laughs> from Habu, the 2015 version. I'm sure the 2016 is out already because they re usually release the new vintage for New Year's, but we haven't had the 15 and couldn't find the 16. So we went to the 15. But that was the lineup. Now we're going to try the ultimate blend. Let's do it.
Cut. You don't like that. No. I sense that already. Do you know what I taste? <laughs> I taste this. And then oh. it tastes like vodka. I, I don't know why it reminds me of vodka. I mean, I, I get that, but it's... It's... it's oh. I, oh no. I, I, I don't think this... Actually, I don't think this blend is as bad it's, as it's last just, year. It tastes like sweat. In, yeah. It kind of tastes like sweat. Yeah. Enough, <laughs> but I like sweat. <laughs> oh. No. no. The flavor is that. The skunk of that. Mm. The alcohol of that. And then just like generic sweet mm, malt yeah. flavor from all the yeah. others. I mean, you can definitely taste that, that, and that shines through. Yeah. So <laughs> that was the 2015 Foul Beer Tasting Extravaganza. Not as big an extravaganza as uh, 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 no. previous years. These beers are beers you should check out. This is instead of a top 10 worst this year because I really haven't had top 10 worst beers. Well, you should check this out, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd give that a go. It's, it's decent and it's fairly well priced for a supermarket beer. Right? Mm -hmm. To finish that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? To finish but the, we have to, to wish the people out there a happy a happy New Year. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, we yeah, record yeah, this on New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So and it's oh my God, we only have like, like half an hour left. Oh you know, shit! It's oh. New Year's in half an hour. Woo! Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Should we get another? Uh, I was about to call this a lightning stick. <laughs> <laughs> Like We're totally, totally not even drunk. <laughs> it's called it. What the hell is it called in Danish? In Stavikistan. Stavikistan. A star oh, thrower. Star thrower. <laughs> star thrower. <laughs> That's hey, what it's called in German. I actually don't know what it's called in English now that I think of it. No. We're going to call tell, it. Tell us what this is. It's called Please. a star thrower. In Danish, it's, it's a. It's a Dangerous. 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 And we're going to celebrate New Year's right now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, party and woo And, uh, of course, see you guys for hopefully, hopefully, hopefully an action packed 2016. So, cool. cheers and some very cheers. shitty beer blends. Happy New Year! Happy, Happy New Year! Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cheers, guys.